Okay, well, this might be a bit of an odd video to make. This is going to be a video talking about the struggles that happen on the Buccaneers offense. Listen, I already have a whole video about the final drive. Uh, this is actually my third video I'm making now about the game. So a lot of stuff talking about, about the Buccaneers in this game, but there's a lot to talk about. Uh, yes, the final drive was great, but I still want to talk about the issues that went on early on, both with the, the coaching and also just issues in itself that they need to work on and they need to fix. So let's just get into it. So let's start off with this play. This is, uh, I think, you know, a good example, just a quick example. We don't spend forever on it, but it's a third down and five. So watch what's going to happen. Brady takes a snap. Brady is going to look down the field. I'm going to pause it at two and a half seconds. That's what I always talk about. This is when something has to happen to a two and a half second mark. And I do feel like too frequently we would see this happening where Brady's looking downfield. Nothing is getting open. This is something that's happening because, again, the coaching staff's going to get a lot of the blame. I'm going to criticize the coaching staff a lot in this video. But this is another area where they've just struggled is, you know, it's hard to get open against this Rams team. They're struggling to get open against this Rams team. They've always struggled to get open against the Rams in the Brady era. Brady instead just throws the ball away. Really, the, I, probably the right play. I can't see the rest of the field. I can only see what you can see. But, you know, if Brady did it, I'm assuming it was probably the right read there. But that's problem one. It should be mentioned right off the bat. There's just, there are some issues right away with this Buccaneers uh, offense and just them getting open. But I actually want to go jump ahead to the third quarter right away and talk about this series this is a great series to display really I think the coaching staff's issue because I talked about okay a third down and five not getting anyone open but why are so many of these situations happening on the third play of the drive it's seemingly always a third down well here's a great example so it's first down and 10 so what are they going to do well they're going to run the ball because that's what the Buccaneers always do they run the football they're going to pick up three yards okay now let's move on to second down and seven again that's not a good play I just want to reiterate only getting three yards on a first down does not help you if you're a believer in analytics, which I am, it says you need five yards on a first down for it to be a positive play. Four yards is actually just slightly negative, but you know there's an argument to be made for four yards being good. The three yards does not help you, but okay, whatever. Close enough. Second down and seven. What are you going to do here? Brady's going to throw a quick screen pass to Brashad Perriman, who gains a yard. Maybe you could say Mike Evans should have made that block if you want to. Maybe you could say, hey, that's just Jalen Ramsey making a great defensive play. I would argue, well, why are you throwing the screen pass to Jalen Ramsey in that scenario then? But you know what? That's what they decided to do. Okay, fine. Now let's go on to a third down and five. So here we go. Third down and five. So, okay, listen. Not the best first two plays. You have a third down and five, but this is what you have Tom Brady for, right? To make these types of plays happen. Watch as the initial play does not work, but as the play breaks down, Brady is somehow able to get out of the pressure, make a throw to Mike Evans, who dropped the football. So on one hand, the coaching staff can just say, hey, it was a drop. What are we supposed to do? That should have been a first down. No, it shouldn't have been. First off, that was not a drop. That was a great play by Tom Brady to set up a drop you know what I mean that was not a play that worked the play design got someone open and then Evans just dropped the football it was the play design failed Brady made something happen but then Mike Evans dropped it so the coaching staff does not get any credit for this because that play failed but it also kind of goes back to my first point a little bit right of I'm sure people will sit here and say well the offense as a whole isn't doing well you can't just blame the coaching staff talent wins football games and that's true talent does win football games had Mike Evans made this catch no one's talking about the the run and the screen pass on first and second down but it kind of goes back to the main philosophy that Tampa Bay is running and why I think it's a flawed one is the goal on first and second down is not to create an easy third down the goal is to avoid third down altogether and they have done an absolutely terrible job at doing that intentionally so like this plays another example of a third down that's not working out you know it's going to be a man coverage play one-on-one -on -one with Mike Evans and Jalen Ramsey you're going to see Evans is going to you know uh, there's going to be some contact you maybe even could have called that a push off if you want to there's a little bit of separation but Evans cuts short Brady makes this throw it is not a first down and listen you can sit here and say well Evans has to run a further route Evans's route was supposed to be past the first down marker I'm almost sure of it I don't you know I don't know why you would have run that route and have him be short, but Jalen Ramsey's the physical corner. It's hard to get that far down the field against him. It is, you know, football still is a physical game. You know what would make things easier on Mike Evans? Giving him two tries at this instead of just one try at this. Actually trying to throw the ball past the sticks more than just on third down and often not even on third down like what happened here. Again, something like this is a perfect example. It's a third down and six. Tom Brady is going to, you know, it's a man coverage play. So that's what they're looking at. Brady takes a snap. Brady looks towards his right. 
we're, you know, again, uh, several seconds into this play, and Brady, once again, just doesn't love what he sees. We're a couple seconds in. He doesn't like that, so he's going to go to his next read. This is actually Brady pretty quickly getting to his next read, but then when Brady th tries to throw it to Vaughn, Vaughn wasn't able to make the play, probably wasn't getting a first down there anyway. So it's like their plan A's aren't working and their plan B's aren't working, and that's why they're really, sh you know, struggling here. Let's talk about this play now. I want to talk about a positive, because this is actually one thing that I have noticed with the Buccaneers is they're actually pretty decent. At least it feels like they're much better. I don't know the actual numbers, but it feels like they're much better on these uh, end of half situations. And I think it's not a coincidence. I think the obvious reason is because they have to throw the ball in these situations. They have to push the ball down the field because it's not just throwing because people love to look at, you know, just pure passing stats. But listen, a screen pass counts as a pass, but it still is not pushing the ball down the field. But on this play, this is what you want to see more of, not just out of desperation, but just in general. You have Mike Evans. What's Mike Evans known for? Deep shots down the field. That in red zone uh, touches, and he hasn't gotten many red zone opportunities or deep shots down the field, and he's still been relatively effective because he's Mike Evans, but you've basically taken away the two most important things about his game. Watch, Brady takes the snap. Brady is going to eventually fire down the field. You see Evans is open. I mean, Evans is wide open here. Now, bit of a missed throw from Brady, a little bit underthrown, still gets the pass interference, so you'll take it because, again, throwing the ball down the field, a good strategy. One Tampa Bay should do more, especially when you have Mike Evans. On this drive here, it weirdly wasn't like, I didn't think the Buccaneers were making too many adjustments or doing too much better. It was kind of this weird play calling by the Rams, I thought. I mean, you look at how far off these corners are currently playing. Listen, Tony Romo was talking about how far off they were playing all game, and that, that's true, but it wasn't this far off. It was not, and so what do you do if you're Tampa Bay? You take advantage. Look, as you see, Brady is able to just easily flip it to Scotty Miller, picks up a few yards. It was nothing crazy, but that was an easy way they were able to kind of just dink and dunk the ball down the field. Hey, that'll absolutely work. I actually happen to have my mic still going when the Scotty Miller end zone drop pass happened. So if you want to hear that, uh, here it is. Oh my God. I cannot believe he just dropped that. So yeah, I mean, as a whole, listen, huge win for the Buccaneers. These issues do have to get fixed. And I'm not sitting here saying I think they will. I, I kind of don't. I'm, I'm holding out hope. I hope they get fixed. I hope it happens. But I'm just not expecting it to happen because this is just kind of what we've seen from this coaching staff is they do feel a bit hard-headed. And it feels like they only open up the offense when they absolutely have to. Listen, in that final drive, they open up the offense because they had to and it worked. You'd think this would be a clear sign saying, hey, just start doing that. That's what you should do. I don't know if they're going to do it, but at least there's the evidence to support that that makes some sense. And listen, you know, some of these plays can still work. The Buccaneers have to execute the plays that coaching staff is running as well better. So both are true. But yeah, those are kind of my thoughts on this one. What do you guys think? What are your thoughts on all of this? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.